President Joe Biden stopped a reporter from asking a question during his meeting with UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer. Ahead of Biden's opening statements, a reporter asked Biden what he thought about Vladimir Putin's threat of war. I say you be quiet till I speak, okay? That's what I'd say. Good idea, Biden told the reporter. The reporter then repeated the question. Well, you gotta be quiet, I'm going to make a statement here, okay, said Biden before turning to Starmer and speaking his opening statements. During their meeting Friday, Biden Starmer discussed issues such as Ukraine, the Middle East and developments in the Indo-Pacific. Mr. President, what do you say to Vladimir Putin's threat of I say you be quiet till I speak, okay? That's what I say. Good idea? What do you say to Vladimir Putin's threat of war, sir? To well, I, well, I, you gotta be quiet, I'm gonna make a statement. Okay? All right, anyway, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Welcome back to the White House office. There's no issue global consequence. I say to you, be quiet till I speak, okay? That's what I say. Good idea? What do you say to Vladimir Putin's threat of war, sir? It's a well, I, threat. Well, I, you gotta be quiet, I'm gonna make a statement here, okay? All right, anyway, Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Welcome back to the White House. Often said, there's no issue of global consequence where the United States and Great Britain can't work together and haven't worked together. And we're going to discuss some of these things right now. In your first, Ukraine. I want to thank you for, uh, for the UK, UK's leadership in this front. The United States is committed to standing with you to help Ukraine as it defends against Russia's onslaught and aggression. And clear that Putin will not make it clear Putin will not prevail in this war, and the people of Ukraine will prevail. Former U.S. President Donald Trump said that he will be the border president in a speech heavily focused on migration at a Las Vegas rally late Friday. Trump also strongly criticized Vice President Kamala Harris, frequently referring to her as Comrade Kamala Harris. We dismantled her terrible record, we exposed her radical liberal agenda, we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again, said Trump referring to Tuesday's presidential debate in Philadelphia. Three months ago, we had a monumental victory. We had a beautiful victory three months ago. And then a couple of nights ago, we had an even better victory. We took her on, comrade. Kamala Harris, we took her on and we did really well every... We dismantled her terrible record, we exposed her radical liberal agenda, and we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again. <laughs> Meanwhile, comrade, Kamala Harris, comrade. Showed up spewing lies and meaningless platitudes with no plans, no policies, and no solutions whatsoever. She doesn't have a clue. And the American people are damn angry, too. We're all angry. Country's being wrecked. That's why 53 days from now, we're going to tell Harris that we've had enough. Our country can't take it anymore. Comrade Kamala Harris, you're fired. You're fired. Get out. Get out. When I return to the White House, I will launch a special task force of elite federal law enforcement and charge them with crushing and eliminating every foreign gang and organized crime network that is conquering our country. This will not end well unless Donald J. Trump is elected the 47th president of the United States. But I can end well. Because I am your border president. From now on, I want to be your border president.
that this border crisis is 20 times worse than it was in 2016. But I'll get it solved, I'll get it solved fast, and we'll get back to making our country strong again. And I only want to be addressed no longer as Mr. President, Mr. Border President, sir. Because we got to get this border fixed. We got people. Starting on day one, I will seal the border and stop the migrant invasion. We will carry out the largest deportation operation of criminals in American history. We will defeat inflation quickly, and we will make America affordable again. We're getting your prices way down. We will make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far.